I'm Danny. And I'm Matt Brandyberry. And you're watching Soundlink TV. Trenton here with Soundlink TV with From Ashes to New. Introduce yourselves real quick. I'm Matt. I'm Lance. Awesome. So we're here at Carolina Rebellion. <laughs> we're confuse so many people by doing that. I'm actually Matt. I'm actually Danny. And I'm the rapper Matt. I, don't I, I thought you were Lil Windex. I'm Lil Windex. <laughs> yeah. And you're Kanye West. I heard you guys talking about that while we were. And a whoopity scoop. There you go. All right. So we're here. We're here. At, we're here at, <laughs> you got the red solo cup going on too, right? Yeah. I got um, water in it. For sure. Oh, yeah, it's that's um, definitely water. Yeah. made by Budweiser, but it's water. The water looks like it came from some some bad place. I don't know. It's kind of like tainted, maybe. Flint, probably. Flint, Michigan. I, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> it, it that, came, that came from you. I did not want to say anything. <laughs> there was a stint where that was some bad water. I feel yeah, bad. I didn't. I, that's why I said some place. It was in my head. But I was like, I'm not saying it. It's, but, uh, wa it's water by um, Budweiser, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit of alcohol. It's weird. Yeah. It's pretty correct to say it's mostly water yeah, yeah. Knows yeah. monster has a new drink and they have a little yeah. bit of alcohol in it so that's what it is yeah. do they really no he probably wouldn't love that all right guys but you guys are here at rebellion today it's a festival for you guys and stuff and so how's that treating you guys it's, i know it's hot out there you guys have already played and stuff so what's that experience been like playing the show with all the fans and all that with this new material it was incredible i mean we played a good portion i think we played one old song we played through it all, and that was the only song off day one. Everything else has been new, and honestly, the crowd was very receptive to all of it. They loved, I mean, from our perspective, they were getting into it, and it seemed like they were having a good time with it. We even threw in uh, the OG Nowhere to Run, our version. Um, there was a version on our record that got changed a little bit and put out that way, so we did our version, so it's even a little bit more unheard of than okay. the other one on the record and people seem to really get into it so it was a fun time i mean we were messing around on stage and having fun and yeah. it's just like it was a good time yeah it seems like your your band right now for your career is so literal because you guys just went through a whole you know bunch of changes with some members you got danny now on vocals and then I a brand that, new yeah. record yeah this record we got matt and danny next we'll fire him and yeah. We'll, we'll <laughs> yeah so yeah. so i guess i guess your band i guess you gotta do what your name yeah. stands for and just like kick everybody out and rebuild every album yeah. cycle or whatever everything that the ashes or steal it and then um they'll have the rebrand to make it new again there you go so yeah. fire the only original member we'll fire rapper matt yeah, <laughs> yeah. we'll team together and fire him yeah, yeah, so you guys have gone through a lot of changes. You, you're in the band now, Danny's in the band, so uh, you've been in the band a while. So, like, from your end, you know, what's it been like bringing in the new guys, rebuilding this band up and releasing this new material? And from you, joining this band, an already established band like this, like, what's, what's it been like for you? For you, Whoever wants All to take right. their part what, first. What it's been like for me with the new guys is it's, it's way more smelly in the bus. <laughs> like, no joke, Danny's butt yeah. is poison. <laughs> His oh. feet are absolutely fucking terrible. Poor Danny's not here right now. I know. If he was here, he'd I'm still tell. You. Yeah, he'll agree. <laughs> no, he's not here. No, but he's not he's here. terrible. His feet like just sweat. I tell him he needs to wear flip flops all the time or something because <laughs> it's just like he doesn't have any way of breathing oh on his God. feet. It's like he just takes off his shoe and it's like a puddle of sweat basically. Oh my it's disgusting. God. I bet it's even worse with this weather. Yeah, it gets pretty bad, and we just hear about it all the time, and then we smell it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so my, mine is Danny's butt and uh, feet and all that. Like, yep. uh, bringing this guy in and Danny and all that with the creative process and writing this record. How's that been different for, from the last record where you guys are already right, like well, together? With, with day one, I wasn't there for the writing. I came in after it was okay. done. Okay. And it was yeah, it was basically Matt Brandyberry wrote ninety five percent of everything. Okay. But this was a group effort on the future. Okay. We literally like completely even across the board. We spent two, three months just sitting in a room, yeah. writing everything. Like not one person, like Danny is a vocalist, Matt's a vocalist, but they weren't the sole writers of lyrics. Yeah. Uh, he plays guitar, I wasn't the sole writer of a guitar, I wasn't the sole writer of some ideas on drums. You know, we all collectively had a mix, so it was a 25 split across the board. We actually went into the studio and the guys were like, we don't really know much else we could do to make this any better yeah. than what it really is. And it's just like, that was a huge compliment to us. We were like, because we slaved on this thing, thinking it wasn't even close to being ready yet. And they're like, dude, you guys got a fucking smash on yours. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I guess uh, I guess we got something good on our hands, so. Yeah, so like joining this band, you know, you are, I'm sure you're already familiar with their style and everything. And yeah. so uh, you guys do the whole, you know, singing, screaming, rapping, you guys do all that stuff in one project, which is kind of, be kind of like a tough thing to tackle, what, which vocal part goes where and everything. So 
um, going into it with that mindset, knowing what you're getting into, like with that sort of worry a little bit with writing, you know, how are we going to do this? Or were you just fully confident in what you bring to the table with the band? Uh, no, I mean, we all, like I said, we all listen to the different styles of music. Um, and then I think that had a huge part in like really being able to contribute and write to this album, especially because a lot of us don't listen to just one genre. Um, I've written or helped write an album prior in another band, and it's just like having that experience has helped me with this, but this was definitely a different element. Um, working with different people, working with a different sound, different style, but this sound is more, to me, I would say more of a home-based sound. I'm not much of a metal rock guy, and the last records I've done were metal and rock. Um, this is more in a way alternative like rock pop or if you want to say with a hip-hop element that's what i've grown up listening to so for me it was a little bit more home based not what i'm used to writing but it was a fun challenge as well but uh, i mean it's just like with any song like you got to try to figure out what goes where and how it's gonna to formulate you know the best song possible so that's the biggest challenge regardless of the genre and now you gotta think like where is it headed next since we like diversify yeah. so much like we have a rapper we have a singer and a screamer. I think for the next record, we need the yodeling kid. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, bring yodeling yeah. kid in. Yeah. Right. If we can get Kanye West to do his uh, verse on his newest <laughs> song, that would be huge. Or write us something yeah, like that. What could we possibly do? We get a bubble machine, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> just a, bu just just a bubble want, machine yeah. is like a, a sound effect. I don't know. Maybe just give a vibe to the whole yeah. thing. Who knows? Yeah, so uh, the fans have been receiving it really well. Uh, I'm sure they would like it if you throw Yelling Kid in there as well and everything, with whatever so. you guys do. He just put out a smash hit as yeah. well. Yeah. It's yeah. Really I listened to that yesterday. I'm like, what is this? It's really good. I mean, somebody definitely wrote it for him because it's talking about how he's in love with somebody. I'm pretty sure he's like 10 years old, yeah, yeah, but awesome. it is phenomenally catchy. Like, Real quick, this is on the spot. Your best Yodeling Kid impression. Uh, 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 that's it. That's all I got. That's all you got? Uh, <laughs> all right. All right, so uh, what's the next for you guys? You've got this new record out. Fans are loving it. You know, you guys are obviously in love with it as well and stuff. So yeah, uh, I hate it, but uh, yeah, I actually You hate it? Okay. It. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're being honest, you can say that. No, I, I actually do. Like, I'm doing this because I have to. Yeah, I'm, I'm paying them to be here. No, um, there's a lot of emotion that went in behind this record. Yeah. Lyrically, musically, everything. There was a lot of stuff that Matt himself went through. We've all gone through, and we kind of... In a sense, without being cliche, poured ourselves, you know, our heart and soul into this uh, lyrically and emotionally. And it was a grueling process. We had the entire odds stacked against us that this band was never going to succeed after yeah. losing a singer, losing these members. We were going broke. We had nothing going on. We weren't sure if we were going to tour again. But we were like, you know what, we're going to believe in this, believe in ourselves, and just connect with people that we think that we can connect with. And it's, I mean, it's the fans that have really, like, kept us going, you know. And I think it's just us being so honest with all of our songs is what's connected to those people, and they, they see a sense of realism to what we do okay real quick to wrap this up uh what are you guys going next where can people see you later this summer or into the fall uh june and july we're uh, co-headlining with bad wolves okay. and that goes everywhere but the west coast i yeah. believe and it's like mid midwest a little bit so you guys hate the west coast, west coast no, that's why right. i wish we were going to come <laughs> last tour we were just there okay. so we're, yeah we missed yeah. some of the east coast okay. so we're coming all right. back all right guys well thanks for talking to us today congratulations on your record uh I'm Trent with Soundlink TV here with From Ashes to New. Thanks for watching.